getting ready to make the cap for the pin now. I've already got the uh, one end of the piece faced off. And I'm going to turn the other, turn, turn it down a little ways so I can use the other jaw and flip it around. And then uh, make the cap. I've got it turned around in the chuck and faced the other end of it. So now we'll get ready to clean this up so it'll fit into the uh, recess. Just need to take a little bit off. And uh, then uh, I think what I might do is uh, put a small shoulder on it. About uh, maybe a 64th to a 32nd uh, deep to fit into the recess, the second recess. And then we'll have to part it off. Right now I'm going to turn down just a little bit down to uh, three quarters to fit in the hole so the cap will fit in the recess just a hair. Got to shave just a little off there. Let's see if we can see how much we got there. Right at a 30th second. Take just a hair more. That should be just about right. Now we'll parted off at about, uh, I think I had it at 90 thousandths or so thick. I gotta move that cutter just a little bit more. Cap fits good. Below the surface. Let's see how it all fits together now. Oh yeah. Perfect. Squeeze it together and it's still both below the surface there, so we're going to be all right. Now we got to drill two holes in here that will fit within this three quarter inch part for number six. I think I got a number six screw for that. Probably use a three eighths long little Allen head flathead screw. For that, put 
two of them side by side, kind of like that. So now I've got to center this in a vise to drill those holes. So I'll figure out how to do that next. Alright, I think I figured out how I'm going to do this as far as drilling the holes into the cap. This piece here. I went and made a drawing and just blew it up bigger. Uh, these two holes here will be the screw holes. The hidden line is the countersink. So we're looking at it from the bottom side, the countersink and the screw holes. And these four holes here are through holes that will go through the cap and through the pin for suction holes. The suction hole in the fixture is a quarter inch and the tubing is a quarter inch ID. So the four eighth inch holes will equal the area of the quarter inch hole. So that I'll get all the full suction up through the pin. And I decided to use this uh, rotary table that I bought a while back and never got around to using it. And oh, I made this pin to go in here so I could mount the chuck off the lathe onto it. And then also use these uh, clamps I made for it to hold it down which I'll leave a link in the description for the two videos of these of making the clamp and the uh, another adapter to turn this sideways on the mill and in order to hold this up into the, uh, the chuck I've got some little scrap pieces left over from different turnings that we'll use to shim it up with to get it up near the top of the chuck here. And just snug it up. Because all we're going to do is use a center, center drill, excuse me, a center drill just to spot the holes, just to mark them basically, and then we'll take it, take this whole unit to the drill press to drill the holes. So I'll get this thing uh, mounted to the uh, mini mill uh, bed and then we'll take it from there. I decided instead of going with uh, four eighth inch holes for the suction to go with just uh, two three sixteenths holes instead. So that's what we're going to do. Okay I've got the uh, fixture set up here in the mill and got it centered got a center drill in there and got everything centered up so now we're going to start to spot the, uh, the holes
perfect. Just perfect. Now we're going to drill the pin. We've got to drill a smaller hole for the screws. This size bit here is for the 632 tap. Need to set my depth for about 3 8 so we don't come all the way through. I think I'm going to hold off on drilling the uh, holes for the suction. I haven't quite decided whether I want to drill the holes all the way through or part way through and come out the side somehow into this part here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, tap these and put it all together see how it fits first and then we'll decide on what to do with those. Frig.